Blitzers, Nerf Clan, welcome back to the channel. We've got a treat for you today from Mexa Trooper. Mexa Trooper is relatively new to our clan, and uh, he's got a couple of great replays here of a newly acquired Mousen. Uh, and I, I really wanted to share the replays for a number of reasons. I think the uh, Mexa Trooper plays the Mousen in a slightly different way than I do, and quite frankly, a better way than I do. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to show his style here, and also these are just two absolutely terrific games. I believe both are Kalavanovs. If not, they're very close to it. I, and the next one is even better than this one in terms of the ending. So um, anyway, we know the Maotian, uh is a monster tank. It's uh, one of, I think, the third or fourth heaviest tank in the game, or maybe the second heaviest game, tank in the game, actually. Um, and is, it is, really is everything that a, a mouse could be, just with some minor elements that are different and um, used correctly, it can be very powerful. And we are here in Middleburg, and what I love that um, you know our Mexa Trooper did is he did not push up the hill. Now again, this is a different strategy than I generally employ. But Middleburg is a is a map that actually is kind of an ambush map. You go up top, you ambush the team, especially if they they split and you have more than they do. Or um, you st actually can, you know, you go in the middle and then you just have a heavy battle, which is exactly how 95, heck, 99% of people would use the Emil II. Uh, excuse me, the Maushin. There's an Emil II right there. But what our, what was done here by Mexa Trooper is he went uh, another strategy, especially when you have this spawn you can do, and you go and play the hill. I call this the hill trap strategy. We actually did it a couple of times in turnies. It worked really well. We let the, other, the enemy push, especially in encounter, a little bit less effective in, oh, nice ram there. Uh, a little bit less effective when you are obviously in supremacy. And you let them come to you and use this hill that uh, Mexa Trooper is using as cover, and you can shoot a lot of places with it. So Mexa Trooper is already at 2,600 damage um, and, and one kill. Uh, it's a four on six here, not not looking great. Um, the Maushin is a terrible sniper. I'd say, you know, if any of you are watching this, and I think some of you might be thinking, what are you doing, Mexa Trooper? You're sniping in a Maushin. He's not sniping. He he picked a position. The only problem that I think the team had, and I don't know if you blame it on Mexa Trooper or his team, more than likely his team, is they, they had a bunch of people push and just kept pushing. If those guys would have stayed in the top of the hill, you know, they would have stayed together and this would have worked exceptionally well. Mexa Trooper wouldn't have gotten a mastery, but it would have worked well. Um, however, you know, the team pushed too far and he was left here. So rather than just running into the middle of town and dying like an idiot, what Mexican Trooper did here is brilliant. He stayed back. He used this tank. It does have a relatively accurate cannon. It's not an IS, uh, you know, three or something. It has a relatively accurate cannon, terrific alpha. Uh, and in shooting the mouse in from 300 meters is going to get you a very few pens. That's another advantage. So this tortoise... You know, he can shoot at, at uh, him a lot, but he's going to have to use Pramo like he did there and do 334 damage. Our Amigo here is 2,400 damage. That's going to take a long-ass time. Now we got a one versus four. I was right. It's more than a Kalabanov. It's Kalabanov times... It's a Kalaba four and offs. Uh, so one versus four. The Object 704 from Nitro is a pretty good player here. He talks a lot of smack, too. He was trying to push the Maushin, but paid a dear price and became a one-shot um, here by Mexa Trooper. And then the FCM-50 was out out of space, and no need to scope in. Uh, Mexa Trooper takes him out. Now, we're just a one down three, and here comes our idiot in a um, <laughs> RU-251. Committed a suicide, and that was the play of the game right there, folks. Rammed the RU and killed that OBJ 704, who was the only one who really stood a chance. The 704 could have took and taken him down to a one shot or with a big roll, cleared him. That didn't happen. Of course, he bounces. And look at the ramming. Oh, I love ramming with this thing. It rams so good. Let's see this 5861, six kills. For the love of God, what a fucking game. Well done, Mexa Trooper. Terrific, uh, terrific game, terrific carry. Uh, 1600 base XP. That is uh, as high as I've seen someone do a mousin. Um, all right. Next replay, we are heading to Normandy. And uh, Mexa Trooper here has uh, about the same <laughs> result in terms of his team. Uh, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. And I think Mexa Trooper is playing the mousin relatively passively. Um, love the pumpkin, by the way. Um, that pumpkin can help you try to hide the, uh, you know, the little, little couple of there. Um, so Mexa Trooper pushes to, to the, you know, towards the beach, uh, middle area there, just left of the cap. Um, and quickly they're off to a seven to six, uh, lead here. And 
Max Cooper takes a strong position with the tank, um, again using it more of a, I guess a strategic position tank. It's not not a second line, I guess, or maybe you could say second line, but he's not pushing it with it like a lunatic. And this is my problem with the mouse in particular. The mouse, I would argue that the mouse needs to be in the middle of every battle because it can bounce shots so well if you angle it. Um, the Mousen doesn't have the armor, and, and it does. It has all these places that, especially guns with good good guns, can can pen it. That it's not the same, not the same thing. Now this is a tier eight battle, so you do have a little bit more uh, ability here, and I think a little bit more of aggression here uh, could have been understood. Um, and once again, though, the team fell apart. Uh, you got a guy sniping, one TD sniping. You got one guy on the left here, another heavy hiding, um, and then the meds are up top. It just it's just not a good formula for for Normandy. So um, Maxa Trooper here doesn't have a lot of options. He, he, you look at this map, what do you do? This thing goes like 18 kilometers an hour. You know, you're not gonna, you don't wanna push and try to get all the way to the other side of the map. By the time you get there, your team will be dead. You'll be exposed, it just doesn't work. So Maxa Trooper is pushing and pushing up here to another great spot in this map in general. It's one of my favorites against aggressive opponents, which is just the corner of the brim, exactly what he's looking at right there. That actually allows you to shoot a lot of places. Um, you can get into the cap if you need to and stop cap. Um, and it, it just gives you a lot of angles and positions with relatively good cover. And you see Maxa Trooper kind of pushing here and he's got a 252 from Unity that he correctly wants to take out. You could pretty much assume it's a ship player, and it doesn't have camo, and, um, but the 252 is a you good tank, you don't want to take a bunch of shots from it, and you don't want to do this in a face hug when you have three other tanks shooting you. So, brilliant move to clear it there. Now this, this is one of my favorite moves in the entire game, and maybe I've ever seen. Watch the reverse push on the T-54 Lightweight. That was almost 500 hit points. Oh, he missed a shot, no problem. Just squish him a little bit more, and boom was a brilliant move, Max Trooper. I don't know how <laughs> intentional that was. I didn't think it would be possible, but when you have a big enough tank, um, the lightweight's obviously a lightweight, you know, you can shove lights around, and that kill of that was critical. Now, they got an FCM behind you. He's got an IS-3 over there, which is, um, you know, and um, and it is right now a three on four. Things look okay. They're, they're not gonna stay okay. Uh, takes another, oh, two on three. We lost another one. Um, Max Trooper is, uh, trying to just get in position, get the enemies in front of him so he can actually mow them down all in one line. He hits the, again, a great ram. And I think what you're noticing here, listen, if you're in a mouse and a mouse, um, a VK100, a VK168, use what you got. This thing is one of the greatest ramming devices on earth. He, he took him down to easily pass a one shot and was easily able to clear. Okay, that was a one on four. Now we got a one on three. We got an FCM down here. Um, and the problem that he's, that I, the reason I think this game was even better than the last one is, and this was a very unlucky bounce. Um, the the two enemies that he that he has, Mexico Trooper has left is a T30 who just missed a pivotal shot there and a waffle. So he's got a waffle, a T30 and an FCM. Clear, that was the shot of the day game. <laughs> Clears that waffle, what a clutch shot. Again, I mean, there was R and Jesus involved, but you know, you all need it sometimes with these masteries. Um, and then now he's gonna deal with a pesky FCM who is obviously a one shot, but he doesn't wanna take a hit from this 130. And he, and he has enough hit points to take one hit, but then things go array here, array, watch this. He catches on fire, it's a German tank. They do catch fire a little bit easier. He catches on fire um, and really takes a hit. He's down to 535 hit points, so theoretically the T30 can clear him. But what does Mexa Trooper do? Sh loads the HE, hits him on the hatch, beautifully hits him on the hatch. Um, and and he, of course he has the HE loaded, no reason to scope that puppy in. Nice angling there, still gets the shot in the FCM, does a good job there, but clears the FCM. One versus four again. What a hell of a comeback. Just really impressive game and, and use of this beast. 1460 base XP, five kills, I believe. Terrific game, Exit Trooper. Thanks for, welcome to the clan. Thanks for sharing this. And uh, if you guys, uh, please subscribe to the channel.